G'day, I'm Melissa Shannon, founder of Digital Scrapbooking HQ.com. Today, I'm here with a f- old vintage photo from 1961. This is one of my in-person clients from Perth, Western Australia, and they brought along this baby photo, which as you can see, is very well loved. So the first thing I'm going to do is jump in and try and fix this torn section. So i I've made a selection, a rough selection of the bottom area and now I'm using the refine selection brush to refine that selection. So you can see the area at the top of the photo is inside my selection. So I just created a new layer and now I'm just trying to move it around and then I realize I need to actually use a layer mask. I use the control key on the layer of just the head to reselect just that area and now I'm using my selection brush tool. You can use all these different selection tools together. So once I finish refining the selection I'm going to invert it meaning it will select the opposite part of the image. I'll then press delete to black out the bottom portion of the layer on the layer mask and then I can move the baby's head down and align it with the bottom half of the photo. So now that I've got the photograph all in lined up I'm going to merge it into one layer using Control alt shift e and then I'm going to run a guided edit. I'm going to click restore old photo to get a leg up on it restoring this scanned photo. So the first step is going to be cropping this photo. We usually just crop the edges off of old photo so that there's not all those tattered edges. Because the aspect ratios are different on printed photos these days, I don't worry too much about losing a tiny bit and my clients usually aren't either. Now the second step is to look at the spot healing tool and see what it can do to help with a few tears. So obviously for this video, I'm going to massively speed up the process. I'm using the spot healing tool to just repair some obvious um, issues that I have with this, this photo. So there's obviously a lot of other tools that you can use through the guided edit restore all photos but at this point I decided I wanted to edit in in advance mode myself so this isn't a tutorial per se on how to fix a damaged photo if that's something you'd like to see why don't you go ahead and leave me a comment because I can certainly put that on the to-do list so for the rest of this video you'll just see me using advanced mode I wanted to try a few things like instead of just um, using the spot healing tool I wanted to also um, select areas of say the jumper and then move them over to cover up that big crack down the whole photo. So the advanced editing mode gives me more flexibility to easily do things like that. And then I I noticed that the baby's head didn't quite line up. So I just move that a little bit. So here's where I started to use the marquee tool to grab bits of the knit pattern move it from one side of the sleeve to kind of patch up that middle part of the sleeve and I think that really turned out quite well and as you're seeing me working on this photo with mostly just the spot healing tool um, I'm actually noticing there's some discoloration so there's some spots where things look a bit more orange Uh, Obviously, the tape is a bit of a different color. 
Um, so at this point, I realized, well, I can keep repairing it as is, but I'm going to have trouble matching things to color. So I think I want to convert this whole thing to black and white so that I'm not trying to match colors. So now let's just walk through everything I did. I started off with the original scan. Looks something like this. Made a copy of it. Tried to align it best I could. Just merged that whole layer. I did a guided edit. Just started repairing the big scratches. And you can see this is where I was doing most of my repairs on that layer called layer three. Some of them are in fully gray and some are in sepia. And um, that's because I did actually add some layers up above. I adjusted the levels and then I uh, desaturated the whole image. So the way I do it by sampling all layers meant that layer three started being um, part sepia, part black and white. But you can certainly see a difference. I mean, there's always so much more you could do on an editing project like this. You could literally go through and, you know, repair every single dot of dust. But at a certain point, you do kind of need to stop. <laughs> so I've now had this photo professionally printed and my customers have been absolutely thrilled with the results. These are repeat customers and I did get their permission to use this photo as a demo. Um, so I hope you enjoy this before and after. And if you'd like to learn more about retouching photos, leave me a comment and then head to digitalscrapbookinghq.com. Thanks so much for watching this video. If it's helped you, please give me a thumbs up, click subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you'll be notified when I release new videos. And if you'd like to learn more about Photoshop Elements, head to digitalscrapbookinghq.com.